Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jusero. I'm playing a delay not not that what the hell am I even saying? Dragon Quest 11 Echoes of Lose of Age. Last episode we uh, saw what happened to Jade, and in this episode we're gonna go and see what's gonna happen to Eric. Still alive? I I remember the Tree of Life and the Lord of Shadows. I can't be the only one who made it, right? Right? <sighs> not good. I'm not exactly in the best shape for a jailbreak. It's not a jail. It's a monster's lair. <gasps> <laughs> hey, where'd you get off sneaking up on people like that? <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not a bad slime. I promise. <sighs> oh dear, it looks like you're a little battered and bruised. But I can help. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> You... you healed me. What kind of slime goes around appearing out of nowhere and healing humans? <laughs> this kind of slime. My name's Elijah. Nice to meet you. Uh, okay. Sure. Well, whatever. If you're as good a monster as you say you are, maybe you can help me. Have you seen my buddies anywhere? Who's that? Your friends? You mean other Goomans? Nope. You're the only one here. But you want to go and find them, do you? All right. Follow me. Huh? Uh, he's helping me escape? Maybe he really is one of the good guys. Well, I'm not about to look a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> Guess I've got a new friend. Alright. I think they do wrapped all your stuff off you when, you, uh, when they taught you. But fear not, I've got some great news. Look what I found. Oh, my stuff. Maybe you really aren't a bad slime after all. Alright, we have all of our equipment still. Alright. I guess we're gonna be sneaking around. They steal broadsword. Somebody blocking the way over there. There's a lot of treasure around here. Go we look at all these treasure chests. They're sure to be oozing with loot. Hmm. Looks a bit good to be true to me. Got a feeling the good stuff's going to be in one chest and the others will all be traps. Gosh, sounds like this isn't your first uh, first time in this sort of situation. Yep, we've been a thief as long as I have. You get a sixth cent for all this kind of stuff. Found the hideout key. Got Ray a key, but what's it for? Something important, I bet. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's see what we can find. I'm not gonna be touching the other ones because I feel. Well, fuck it. Sword and steel. A candy box. I should be fine there. Sweet breath. <laughs> I get a seed of skill. This is the reason why I wanted to get these things. Because they might give me seeds of skill. Or other things, really. I love Elijah, by the way. Another one bites the dust. Let us get a skill. And a butterfly knife. And those guys are still blocking the way. Is 
thing is sleeping. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> Another escape from an underground prison, huh? It takes me back to the good old days when we busted out of Heliodor Castle. I hope he's doing okay. Wherever he is. Who are you talking about? Sounds like someone who's very important to you. Long story. Anyway, let's blow this joint. <laughs> Don't think the enemies are going to care too much about me. <laughs> Really? All right then, sure. <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, that's a nice thing to do, my friend. Goodness gracious! You see, that's it. There are two tough-looking bots up ahead. Hey, why so jumpy? Don't worry, I'll watch my step. Professorus and a jargon. See? I told you! Two great big ugly monsters right up ahead! Yeah, I see them. I don't know if you heard, but apparently Lord Indignus has been smashing it. He most certainly has. He taught those what to the lesson. Or so I heard. Attacked their village and sent it crashing to the ground. Watchers? Never heard of them. Any idea what they're talking about? Never mind. There'll be time for that later. We need to get these guys out of the way. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. Why don't we do this? Mm-hmm. It's terrible! Awful! A complete splatastrophe! Hey, have you got potty? Just who are you anyway? I've never seen you down here before. <laughs> you! But how did you manage to break out? How do you know my name? I think you and me need to have a little talk. But it'll have to wait for now. Come on. Yay! Let's get going! <laughs> Constantly missing the freaking thing. For a fight would be suicide. Damn it, what do we do now? Come on, you can't just do giving up like that. What would your sister think? Wait a second. You're talking about my sister now? Not that she'd be in a position to think much of anything. Um, you don't remember telling me about her? I suppose it must have been a while ago. What are you talking about? I only just met you, remember? <laughs> anyway, this is no slime to be dithering. We need to look for another way out of here. Come on, let's go! Hmm. You're a slippery customer, all right. But don't worry, I'll get the truth out of you eventually. Monsters are looking mighty interesting down there. <laughs> yeah, 
Interesting. I feel like I need to take some measures in my room <clears throat> to lower the temperature. Because all of a sudden, even though it's not that hot outside, it's getting really hot inside. <laughs> even with my window opened up. Oh. <laughs> well. That happened. Hello, grenades. Superior medicine. Should probably put these things in my inventory though. Let me go and do that now. Um, item bag. Transfer over to my inventory. Whoopsie. Transfer these over to my inventory, all two of them. Alright. It's another one of these thingamies. Hmm. But this one's not working. Let's see what's going on with it, shall we? Interesting. Don't worry, it's not broken. With a little bit of my extra special magic, it'll be all systems go in no slime. Well, it might take a minute or two. Just wait there, okay? with us. Can you shake a tentacle and get that thing moving? I'm trying, I'm trying. I can't go any faster. Please just hold them off for a little while, will you? All right. I'm gonna take orders to, let, uh, to not let you escape and I'm not in, in, in any mood to disobey. Come quietly or you regret it. The enemies draw us near. Maybe I should talk to this one. And stay down. Magic water. <laughs> Very nice. It's I don't know how you escape, but this is as far as you go. And before you lock you up again, we're gonna make you suffer. I need to damage rock. It's over. The panacea. Well, you're total crack, but we think they would they could escape us. You don't have a chance, and if you don't believe me, ask all the other monsters who are on their way. <laughs> Or maybe you'd rather not find out then. Very well, you've earned yourself an exclusive private beating, courtesy of yours truly. Come here, let me smash it to bits. Along. Watch out! Assassin's Lab? Thank you and good night. Assassin's Lab? Hmm. Might not work on this thing. There we go. 
and stay down. little guy. Haha! <laughs> I told you I'm a good slime, really. But things would have got sticky if you hadn't been there to keep the monsters at bay. Hmm. This place looks different to where we were before. Let's go and see if we can find a way out, shall we? Treasure trove, eh? An agility ring. Already had one of those. A seed of deafness. <laughs> Nothing else in here, right? Nope. Wait a second, isn't that this great big room that was oozing with monsters earlier? Looks like we can go that way. Come on, there's no time to use. Let me go and get these items over here, though. Disturbin turban. Eh. Not amazing. Let me go and get this rock bomb shard in my inventory. We're also going to use this sheet of deathless. Let's also go and get this uh, special medicine in there. Panacea. And magic water. There we go. in the sky the whole time? So how do we get down? Something tells me this isn't a jump we're going to survive. Look, over there. There's a path going up to the top. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> what now? Before indignous mortal, spectral sentinel and servant of the Lord of Shadows, it is I who imprisoned you, intending to offer you up to my master. But I see that you have other ideas. You have done well to make it this far. Quite a feat for a mere human. But you will go no farther! Huh? <laughs> Seize him! We cannot suffer an accomplice of the Luminary to remain at large! The time of darkness has arrived, and no light shall be allowed to return. All who oppose the Lord of Shadows will be destroyed! <laughs> Alright. A group of enemies have appeared. I do have these rock bomb things, right? Let's do it. Um. Wow. <laughs> These enemies are not dying easily. That's a fact.
We're gonna use an item to heal. Uh, let's go and use some superior medicine. Here. He says to himself. Nice. Some way out. There is one way. Huh? huh? Elijah? Is that you? Where are you? It is me, but also not me. You have known me for longer than you think. One day, you shall meet the luminary somewhere deep underground. And if you help him, you shall be forgiven. You know those words, uh, don't you? Wait, that's... I can lend you the power to escape your predicament. A great power. But a power you may use just this once. And in return, I will have to take from you that which you treasure most. So tell me, what might that be? Your memories of your brothers and sisters in arms. Precious treasures indeed. But I will have to strip you of them. There is no other way. Do what you have to do. I need that power. Memories aren't much good to me dead. Better to live and make new ones. I won't let this end here. I can't. Then the power is yours. Huh? Oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> he has accepted his fate at last. Seize him! <laughs> I'm not done. Not by a long shot! There is fight in him yet. Very well. I shall finish the job myself. <sighs> Foolish human. Let's do this. All right. Let's go and do a cover strike. <laughs> That's a lot of that. But I'm also taking a lot of damage and also healing all that damage, so... Wow! Done. 
excellent Kerr. I shall lay your broken carcass at the feet of my master. <sighs> <sighs> You knew me as the seer, as do all the people of your world. I once told you a tale of your destiny, and I had hoped I might guide you to it. But even my power has its limits. Forgive me. Remember, where there is life, there is hope. Farewell. What a blooming palaver. Oh, there's nothing like a massive great tree falling out of the sky to mess things up good and proper. Oh, talk about the long way round. Huh? Crikey, that bloke don't look too steady on his feet. You all right, mate? I... I don't know. I don't even know who I am. All I know is... I was on a journey with... someone. But who? Suit yourself. All right. This is going to be a much shorter episode than usual, but I do think I'm going to go in and have this episode over here. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of just how I was playing a giant ghost of an hours of an elusive edge. And next episode, we're going to go and deal with the next story. Goodbye.